Okay, welcome back guys, part five. Um, so we didn't get a video up last week because I've been waiting for some parts to come in and I didn't really want to just put like a five minute video up. So um, this week we're gonna get the interior completed, um, get that headlining in, get that airbag on as well, um, see if we can fault find if there's any um, issues with um, any errors on the airbag. So we're gonna start off with that. Um, also, you're gonna note throughout this video, there's gonna be some real bad camera angles um, because I kind of shot some videos and um, didn't realize that the angle was out and after I'd shot it all, um, I didn't really want to do it all again. So apologies for that. Also, the weather's gonna be really sunny in some videos. It's gonna be raining in others. And um, that's because this video you're seeing now has been shot over a couple of weeks. So um, it's, taken, it's taken a while because I've had to source parts and wait for those to come in, etc. So So um, hope you enjoy. Um, this week, we're gonna hopefully get the car back on the ground, um, get the wheels back, get the headlining in, and then hopefully, depending on timings it might go off the paint this week and we might see the s3 back um anyway stay tuned let's see what happens flashback headlining's here guys end of flashback okay next day here so we got the headlining delivered yesterday um i've not managed to inspect see what's in the box make sure everything's there um and i also obviously didn't manage to put it in the car so today we're gonna get that done okay see so here's obviously the the coupe headlining. Um, let's just see what else we got in here. We should hopefully have everything. Okay, so we've got the seat belt, parts, the beepers. That is the rear pillars where to hide the airbags. Same again there. A pillar. A pillar. That's the light up top there, in there, and we have got the mirrors, I've got one, shit, I've got one grab handle, I need two, hopefully there's another one in here somewhere, let's have a look. Okay, so we've got everything apart from another one of these handles and the airbag tag here. Um, so I can, I can easily pick those up um, off eBay secondhand. Um, so let's get on with taking the old seat belts out, putting the new seat belts in, and then getting this replaced. Okay, prior to putting this in, I obviously need to change the seat belts. That means I need to take the rear door cards out. Um, here they are. I'm going for these these literally just unclip like they normally do on other Audis. So I'm gonna try the um, tried and tested method of giving it a tug. <laughs> that seemed to work. They're all on retaining clips, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem just to pop them out. It looks pretty brutal, I know, but Okay, we got, I'm not gonna take the whole thing off. We've got enough room to play with to be able to get this seat belt and this, this part out. So let's get on with that. Old versus new. Let's put these in. A few moments later. One seat belt complete. Okay, so we finished off last week's video by putting the seat, new seat belts in and putting the, the dark trim in there. And so I've got to obviously take out the roof airbag, so I'm gonna just do, show you one side, um, get the new ones buttoned up, and then we can put the headlining in, um, which is gonna be fun. And let me tell you, sitting in a car on this boiling day is not fun. <laughs> I'm gonna get everything done off camera now because I don't think you want to see me sweat my ass off um, putting these in. So let's um, skip to putting the roof lining in. 
Okay, we just finished completing the curtain airbag, so we've got those in. Now it's time to put the headlining in now. Um, so um, the way I did this before is take the headline out the passenger side. I've checked and measured every angle. This is the best way to put it in. So um, without further ado, going for the laid back look okay so curtain airbags are in let's get the headline in here now How not to put a headlining in. God, that was a nightmare. Almost there. There you go. Black, grey headlining. Okay, let's get these trim pieces into the rightful place. is looking a lot better as the black headline and if you can see it all in it needs a good clean i've got loads of stuff in there and they need a good clean um and i'll do the obligatory putting the air back in next week um this week we've ran out of time obviously we're doing the driveway as well so it's taken a lot longer than anticipated um so come on buddy don't be shy come on yeah Okay, it's time to finish up the airbags. 
um, and that ends with the steering wheel airbag. You know, you've got to have that christening moment where you push it in and it clips in. So, but before I do that, let's disconnect the battery. Here you are. Stay over there and slide that across. Okay, airbag time. Probably can't really see this on there. Um, okay, moment of truth. Okay, airbags in. Let's see if it blows up in my face when we turn the battery on. Okay, so we've got all the airbags done now. Um, so in theory, if I don't have to replace the SRS module, and I don't have to replace any more crash sensors, um, this should come on without any airbag faults. Um, so let's have a look. Okay, key in ignition. Airbags have gone out. Oh no, they're not, they're back on. Let's just see if this beeps. No! Okay, so we have a number of fault codes for the airbag, so um, let's clear these codes. Okay, done, go back. And you'll see on the dash, the airbag warning light has gone off. Let's just turn that off and put it back on. So it comes on and goes out. Wicked, that's worked well. Okay, so let's just see if we can start the car up. If, if this airbag goes bang in my face, don't laugh. Ah, airbags are done. That means I can put everything back in. We are good to go. That is so good, guys. So happy about that. VCDS save the day. New bumper time. Here is the old one. And you strip the usable parts off this one and stick it on. The new one. Okay, so here's the new one. I've already made up with a grill at the front here and the two grills down there with the fog lights. Um, need to take off the wiring harness for the parking sensors. Get that on here. Yeah. Have you noticed what I've noticed? Let me show you. Okay, so this grill here, or this bumper here, doesn't have the headlight washers. Or the parking sensors. So, I believe on the back you can actually cut them out if you wanted to. Let's have a look. Okay, so look, that's where they would go. Just there. God, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, so this is the old bumper. And this is the new one. In my haste of getting one in the right color, I've completely messed up. They don't have the parking sensor holes or the wash jet holes. So, I don't really want to butcher that and cut that up. I'm probably just going to sell that one on 
and get one um, with the headlight washer jets and parking sensors already in. Um, but yeah, it looks it looks alright, doesn't it? Looks pretty decent. It's not on properly, but it looks well. Okay, so here is the S5. Obviously, I've bought the wrong bumper without the PCD parking sensors and the um, um, then on washers um, or headlight washers, whatever you want to call them. So I'm gonna probably take this opportunity to buy the competition front bumper. Yep. Okay guys, we're on our way to TRX refurbishments to pick up the wheels. Um, they've been um, taken back to OEM standard basically. Um, no messing around with red diamond cut bits or anything that people like on the rotor wheels. Um, so we're gonna get those there um, and then we're gonna make our way over to Ace Tires in Fengate in Peterborough um, to get them all balanced up and make sure they're true and um, so there's no problems when it goes on the car. Um, so I'll see you there. Okay, we're approaching the Dream Factory. Let's check out the wheels. Oh, here they are. God, let's just flick to what they look like before, and then you can take a look at what they look like now. They are perfect. So we've gone with the OEM look, no rascal red bits or anything here that people generally go for. Um, keep it as standard as possible. Um, factory fresh. Anyway, here's what they look like before. And obviously here's what they look like now. Okay, just pulling into Ace Tires, see if they've got some room for me. Is there someone in the bay? No, let's go in. Look at Immy. <laughs> yes. Immy's obviously being real careful here, not to, not to damage the fresh paint. Easy as that. Well, that's a nice backdrop, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, one for the camera. Cheers, boys. No problem, buddy. See you later. You take care, Sam, all right? Yeah, have a nice good weekend, man. Take care, See ya. Okay, just uh, left ace, ace tires there, so um, got them all balanced up. The guys are really careful there um, not to damage the wheels. Obviously, they've freshly been refurbished, so uh, they take extra care um, to make sure um, the wheels are perfect condition and they don't chip them, etc. Um, obviously, when they're, when they're freshly refurbished, the paint's still soft, so um, you could quite easily damage them. So now we've got them all balanced, um, and let's stick them on the S5. Okay, next day here. So um, yesterday we realized that I bought the wrong bumper. Well, it is, you can fix it, you can cut the holes out, but I don't want to do that for the, for the parking sensors and the washer jets. Um, so I've bought a new one, we'll get, in, get onto that bumper in a few moments. Um, obviously the wheels are back as well. So first things first, let's get these wheels on the car. There we go, wheels are back on and it's on the floor first time for about well a few weeks now um anyway let's have a look at this front bumper 
Okay, let's get this incorrect bumper off and have a look at the new one. Okay, um, so we obviously made an incorrect decision on the on the previous bumper but um, it didn't have the um, headlight washer holes or the parking sensor holes. Um, I could have cut those in, but I didn't want to mess about and ruin a bumper potentially when I can just sell that on. Um, so I said I was going to get the competition bumper, and the competition bumper is a bit more aggressive than the um, the standard um, standard standard bumper for these, and it's also not copying like an RS. So I don't want um, to pretend this is an RS5 um, for any particular reason. So um, let's get it open and stick it on the car. It's a completely different colour. Obviously, it's going over to the body shop, um, but let's just check it out, see what it looks like compared to the standard one. Okay, so this is the competition bumper. So that's what it looks like. Now let's just switch it up and see what the other one looks like and you can tell the difference then. Okay, in my opinion, um, the competition bumper looks much more aggressive than the normal S5 bumper that goes on here. Also, we're not like trying to replicate or yeah, we're not trying to replicate an RS5 um, either so I want it to still be an S5 not pretend it's an RS5 but also have a meaner front and I think this genuine OEM bumper does that it's gonna look really good once painted okay so the S5 is off to paint um, so we'll see this in a couple of weeks um, just before it does go let's just remove this Okay, so the S5's gone to paint, um, finally. Um, sorry about this video, it's taken longer than anticipated, probably about two and a half weeks. Um, been waiting for parts, obviously made some incorrect decisions, and also I'm working full time, so it can be hard to get these videos out to you every week. Um, but anyway, the S5's gone, but take a look at this. Are you ready? The S3 is back. See you in a week or so for this one.